The lower portion of the PFD controller contains the radio controller. It is primarily used to set radio frequencies and transponder codes, but also has other functions. The SELECT knob is used to set frequencies or transponder codes where the cursor has focus. It consists of two knobs, an outer knob and an inner knob. When tuning a radio frequency, the outer knob changes the digits to the left of the decimal point, while the inner knob changes the digits on the right. Pushing the knob will swap the standby and active frequencies. When tuning a transponder frequency, the outer knob sets the first two digits, while the inner knob sets the third and fourth digits. The IDENT button activates the transponder identification response mode. IDT is displayed in the transponder window when the IDENT is transmitted. The DME button provides quick access to the DME detail window. This window is used to activate the DME hold and pairing options. The DME can be held off of NAV1 or NAV2. This is used when flying an approach that uses DME from a separate frequency. Pushing the VFR button automatically sets the transponder to the preset VFR squawk code. This helps minimize pilot workload after landing. To change the preset VFR squawk code, make sure the transponder field is highlighted and push the Detail button. This is the transponder detail page. The VFR squawk code can be changed here. This page is also used to select the active transponder and turn the ADSB function on or off. The Traffic Detail page contains the TCAS controls. Push the Detail button again to return to the main radios page. As shown in the previous example, the Detail button provides additional detail for the selected radio or transponder. The Com Detail page is used to change the radio tuning format. The volume knob is used to adjust the volume of the selected radio. Pushing the knob activates the squelch. Turning the knob adjusts the volume. When adjusting the volume, the volume level for the selected radio is shown. When the cursor is on a nav field, pushing the knob provides a Morse code filter. For more information on the radio controller, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.